So Donald Trump is back on the scene and the question on every Indian student, traveler and professional's mind, is it going to be harder to get a US visa? In this video, I'm going to share my inputs and analysis on this. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you'll find lots of useful videos on the US visa process. So make sure to check it out. In fact, we have separate playlists for each of the visa categories, so do take a look. Now, we all know that Donald Trump has never been pro-immigrant, but the harshest stance that he has taken has been towards illegal immigration. That means people who are entering US without a legal visa, especially at the border and border crossing. Now, we expect that this stance will continue to remain harsh and there might be more strict law enforcements, which might happen. But when it comes to the non-immigrant visas, that is the student, the travel, the work visas, there are many more factors, many more nuances to consider. So we're going to discuss this in detail, each of the categories. Let's get started. So let's start with the student visas. Now, remember that Trump is pro-economy and international students, especially Indians, contribute massively to this economy. They are a huge financial asset. So when it comes to student visas, I do not expect any major change in the visa law or the system or the regulation. And we really don't expect any mass rejections or mass denials to happen. I know that there are a lot of rumors floating around right now about having mass rejections coming up soon. And in fact, in the WhatsApp group that we have for spring 2025, we see a lot of students asking this question that will there be mass denials now? Well, I really don't think so. However, at a subtle level, there will be some changes, some small changes happening in the visa interview to make sure that the students are genuine. They do not have any immigrant intent. Now, there are two ways in which these changes can happen. Number one, a little bit more scrutiny in the interview with respect to your home ties, your financials and your university. Now, these are the three main factors which determine whether a student is really genuine or not. And visa officers would want to make sure that if you are coming to US as a student, you are really staying in the university, completing the course, completing all your credits and paying all the fees. They do not want someone who comes to the US as a student, but drops out of the university and ultimately becomes an immigrant. So they're going to scrutinize these three factors deeply in the visa interview. And when you appear for the interview, you need to make sure that the course that you're going for has good opportunities in India, which shows them that there's a clear future path for you once you finish this course in the US. You also need to make sure that you have enough funds to complete the entire education in the US. Right now, when we do sessions for students to prepare them for spring 25 interviews, we see that many of them have funds sufficient just for one year just for the first year of the education. But what about the second year? And what about the third and the fourth year if you're doing a bachelor's? So when you go for the visa interview, make sure that you have a funding plan clearly mapped out for the entire duration of your course in the US. And this will give confidence to the visa officer that you're not going to be doing anything else and you're not, you don't have to be dependent on any other means for funding your education. And third, university. Take a lot of good care when you select the university spend time analyzing your admits and choosing the best option. In the video that we recently released, uh, we did mention that for spring 2025, university is going to be the top focus of visa officer and low ranked university, ones which are not reputed, not good enough, it's going to be tough to get visas for it. So make sure that university ranking is good, it's reputed, the course is good enough, which justifies you going all the way to the US, spending all this money and time. The second change that we expect with respect to the student visas is going to be the availability of slots for refused candidate. Now, this has already been happening in the last two years, but we do expect it to become a little bit more stricter. So when your visa is refused, it is refused under 214B, which means that you do not have strong home ties. When you have a 214B refusal, getting a visa slot for the next attempt might become a little bit more tougher or you might have to wait a little bit longer. So make sure that the attempt that you have, you are maximizing it and giving your 100%. The second visa category are the tourists and the travelers, that is the B1, B2 visa. Now, tourists, travelers coming into the US, spending money is good for the US business, US economy. So again, we know that Trump is pro-economy, so we don't really expect any major change or any major crackdown with respect to issuance of these visas. But just like the student visas, the scrutiny might become a little bit more in the visa interviews to ensure that you are a genuine traveler and you're not somebody who's going to enter the US on a B1, B2 and then disappear and ultimately become an immigrant. 
the various ways in which this can be checked. Topmost one I feel is a travel history. So having a good travel history, showing that you do have the travel, uh, you know, background of traveling to other countries is going to help a lot. Number two, your income, saving and property. So having good income levels, sufficient savings to be able to fund the trip and ties in the form of properties do massively help your profile. And number three, the stability of your job or your business. So how stable is your job profile, your business in India, which again shows that you have a strong enough reason to come back is also going to help your visa interview as a tourist. So right from the DS-160 form to your answers, make sure that you are highlighting your profile as a tourist in terms of your travel history, your stability of your career, your income, properties, and any other personal ties like having spouse, children, or parents here in India. The third category are the work visas, the H and the L. Now here is the tricky one. This I feel is the wild card. And last time when Trump was a the president, there were a lot of new regulations, systems that were recommended. Thankfully, many of them did not get implemented. So this time I feel we'll have to follow a wait and watch approach. Um, we really have to wait and see what all are the new changes or the new uh, systems which get proposed and how many of it actually get implemented. So we'll be tracking all of these changes very closely and bringing it to you right here on this channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. And if you already have a work visa appointment booked, whether it is for H or L, make sure that you are maximizing that attempt. When we work with professionals for work visas, we see that many of them have a history of past rejection and that rejection is either due to insufficient documentation or their expertise or their skill sets or managerial experience not being clear in the DS-160 form and in the interview. So make sure to take care of all the aspects, having proper documentation, a thoroughly filled DS-160 form, which shows your professional background and career very clearly. And of course, having the appropriate answers for the interview. And if you need help in preparing for your work visa interview, do feel free to reach out. So these were my pointers, the analysis that I wanted to share with you. I'm sure that you have done your analysis too. And I'm really curious to know what are your inputs, your insights. So do leave them in the comment section below. Comment below and let me know what do you think of the situation. Do you think anything is going to change or things are going to remain the way they are? So let's chat more in the comment section. And if you have any other doubts with respect to US visas, do feel free to leave them as well. And stay tuned because we are going to be coming up with more videos. The next video is going to be a really important video for all of you going for spring 2025. And this is how to answer the question, why this university? So make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned. And if you need any other help, do check the description box for all the resources. Signing off for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.